Are you truly curious about who would win in a fight between Steven Seagal and Jean-Claude Van Damme? Both have similar backgrounds, actors in action films and experts in their respective martial arts. But before we answer who the winner might be, let's look at some of their past performances to help you form an opinion. Let's start with Seagal. In the movie China Salesman, there's a moment where he faces off against the legendary boxer Mike Tyson. With his expertise in Aikido, a form of martial art, could Seagal actually win? At the beginning of the fight, Seagal dominates, making Tyson feel quite a bit of pain. But that doesn't mean Tyson couldn't fight back. Some of the holds Siegel executed left Tyson in serious pain. What's even more impressive is how Siegel was able to anticipate Tyson's moves, allowing him to dodge effectively. However, despite his skills, Siegel made a critical mistake at the end, which allowed Tyson to claim victory. Let's go. Maybe the previous clip wasn't too realistic since Seagull was acting in a movie. But how about this sparring session? Here, Seagull demonstrates the effectiveness of Aikido without exerting much energy or breaking a sweat. He even sends his sparring partner flying to the floor before finishing with a painful lock. At one point, Siegel takes on two opponents simultaneously, yet neither of them manages to land a hit. His impressive locking techniques leave his opponents struggling to even put up a fight, just like in this video. Where Seagull was invited to an Aikido dojo to showcase his skills. Naturally, the Aikido master was more than happy to demonstrate. As you can see, with intricate techniques, Seagull was able to take down his opponents with incredible ease. What's even more impressive is how simple Seagull's moves appeared, yet they effectively targeted his opponent's weak points. These mesmerizing and deadly techniques were enough to render his opponents unable to continue the fight. Siegel was also invited to Japan to demonstrate his Aikido skills. At the time, he appeared much younger, which made his abilities even more lethal. It was clear that, using just one hand, Siegel could leave his sparring partner grimacing in pain. With decades of Aikido training under his belt, Siegel had honed his ability to neutralize opponents before they could even launch an attack. In fact, dissatisfied with the challenge his sparring partner presented, Siegel requested a new opponent. But even after switching, Siegel remained untouched. Still seeking more of a challenge, Siegel took on two opponents simultaneously. Yet again, neither of them could stand up to Steven Siegel's mastery. On the other hand, Van Damme is no less impressive than Siegel. This black belt in karate has often delivered breathtaking performances in the action films he starred in. Take this movie, for instance, where Van Damme fights in an extreme prison setting. Initially, Van Damme struggled to defend himself. His opponent was large and heavily muscular, making it hard for him to land effective strikes. At one point, when Van Damme was locked in a hold, his opponent headbutted him, causing his head to bleed. But after that, the karate master began turning the tide, launching devastating attacks. Van Damme's locking technique 
was so powerful that it caused his opponent to suffer a serious shoulder injury, leaving him in excruciating pain. It turns out that Van Dam has been highly skilled in karate since he was just 19 years old. In fact, at such a young age, he won a competition and took home a trophy. That victory came after Van Dam delivered a powerful kick that left his opponent in pain. However, his opponent was no pushover, as they kept launching kick after kick in return. What's particularly remarkable about Van Damme at 19 was his ability to strike without sacrificing his defensive strength. Van Damme also starred in a movie where he had to engage in a street fight against a much larger opponent. Would he come out on top? From the start of the fight, Van Damme showed that he was clearly superior to his opponent. He managed to anticipate several of his opponent's moves and expertly countered them. In fact, a few of Van Damme's punches were so effective that they caused his opponent to bleed and lose balance. Van Damme ended the street fight with a devastating kick, delivering a knockout blow that left his opponent completely KO. Van Damme also once fought in an empty swimming pool, which was quite a unique setting for many people to see. Unfortunately, at the beginning of the fight, Van Damme found himself cornered by his opponent's attacks. Refusing to give in, Van Damme read his opponent's moves and counterattacked eventually knocking his opponent into the water. But it didn't stop there. Van Damme followed up with another impressive and painful kick, sending his opponent crashing back into the water. As a result, Van Damme also entered the water, and once there, his relentless punches left his opponent unable to continue the fight. So, if Siegel and Van Damme were truly to face off in a fight, who would win? According to one source, Van Damme is the likely victor. This is largely because of his undeniable skill in karate. Additionally, Van Damme's participation in professional competitions serves as proof that his abilities are well-tested and proven. That said, Siegel would certainly be a tough opponent for Van Damme. His mastery of Aikido, which allows him to neutralize his opponent's attacks, combined with his larger physique compared to Van Damme, would definitely make things challenging. However, despite these advantages, they might not be enough to overpower Van Damme, who also has greater muscle mass.